Hey, buddy. A car hey, too, buddy, they... buddy. Oh, yeah. Happy weekend, everyone. Today's the first day that the pool is officially open. Well, I guess yesterday. You went last night. You went swimming last night. But the girls are going to go today. All right, here goes Dan. 1994 World Olympic Medalist. 1994? Yeah, I was an Olympic medalist in 1994. Yeah. And my name is Janet Jackson. <laughs> Superstar. Do what right away? I'm getting ready to show the you. The superstar. I'm getting ready to show you a dive. Let's see it, Olympic medalist. You're going to see, I'm going to jump in, you're going to see one little drop. Yeah, right. Just like in the movies. It's going to go all over the place. It's going to do a cannonball. Look, that was that one little drop. I'll give Perfect. you like a two. <laughs> I, I know how to swim. I don't. How does the pool feel, guys? Let's jump in. It's a little cold. Let me tell you the truth. No, oh, once you jump in, it's not. Woo! Yeah. That's some cold water right there. No joke. Oh, that is awesome. Nice. Yeah. I just broke a piece of that. Oh. So we're at the blueberry picking farm. There's a lot of people here. I don't know how many blueberries are left, but we're gonna find them. Oh, and also we almost went to a blueberry festival today but it was like 45 minutes away and this place is really close to us so I think we made the right choice. I got two! You found blue ones? I got two blue! Oh here's one. I'm not sure if we're allowed to eat them or not but they're delicious! I found a rainbow one! Let me see. Rainbow! <laughs> I found a couple. This mama doesn't need a bucket. <laughs> How do you guys get over? I'm stuck. I'm picking blueberries. <laughs> yeah, that one was red inside. Look how many have. Wow. These are beautiful. Blueberries everywhere. Last time we went to a festival, they didn't have this many blueberries. It was so overpicked. This place is awesome. Ah, oh, blueberry. It's purple. Okay, Lamar, big fat ones. Ooh, rainbow. Look, I have rainbow. Wow. How much is it? How much are blueberries at the store? I think it's like five bucks a pound or something, which is what it is here. It's five dollars a pound. I don't understand. What a business model. You're doing all the work. You're probably not picking his quality because the pickers are not good at picking stuff. <laughs> you're paying primo price. But it's the experience that you're paying Can for. Can you put a price on fun? Can you put a price on... That should be the name of our channel. Can you put a price on fun? <laughs> well, this week we're going to be discussing price on fun. <laughs> They're good now. What's your favorite part about blueberry picking? Going under the I'm gonna door! Get, I'm going to get my money's worth. <laughs> Eat two. Going under the door. Eat two. Put, put one in the bucket. Put one in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And one. Well, well, guys, I don't think this is necessary, but I'm just gonna grab a handful of blueberries and stuff them in my mouth. <laughs> You're right. Totally. Totally unnecessary. Oh, are you having fun? Wow. So many blueberries. Was that necessary? Necessary. <laughs> Wait, what does he say? <laughs> Is it necessary? Was that necessary? Wait, okay, so this, name this quote. Okay, let's name see who gets movie. it. Name Hold the on, movie. Name the movie. Is it necessary that I drink my own urine? No, but I like the taste. Uh, it's sterile and I like the taste. All right, I am all blueberried out. Are you guys all blueberried out? Let's have a video of us running. 
let's let's go check out. Hey, bunny. Do you have a good time? Huh? Yeah. Alina, how much do you think we picked? I know. I ate almost all of them. Oh. How about you, Eleanor? How much do you think we picked? Um, ten. Ten. All right, ten. You get one point two eight pounds. There it is. Six forty. Okay. That's what I just heard. What? They picked two thousand pounds of blueberries today. Today? Yeah. Holy cow! All these peeps. Here's some. Here's some B-roll, honey. Okay, here, here's the music for the for the B-roll. Bing 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 bing. No, didn't work out. It's my banjo. Okay, I dropped the kids. Alex off at home. It is gonna rain, so I better get my errands done fast. Little Mr. Wentworth is with me. I need to run into Nutrition Smart and Michaels to get some stuff from my business. And then if Wentworth is being good, then I'm going to try to go to Sam's Club. I need chicken and cauliflower rice. Fingers crossed we can get everything done, right? Yes, yes. See those tears? Yeah, were you crying? Were you crying in the car? Did you guys see all that traffic just so people could go to Chick-fil-A? Ridiculous. Um, I just got to Sam's Club. Remind me not to forget my umbrella because it's definitely gonna rain and I don't wanna get soaking wet. <laughs> Look who's home. Oh my gosh. Eleanor went over to her cousin's house to play for a little bit and I got a package in the mail. What? Look. Uh, Isn't this the cutest outfit ever? I just had to go through a bunch of Wentworth's old clothes and put some away because he's growing so fast. It's kind of sad. So I had to go on, well, I had to go on target.com and buy some new things for him. And they're really cute. And I don't normally get excited about baby clothes, baby boy clothes, but these are cute. You have popcorn. And daddy's playing Xbox. Yeah, baby. Oh, look. And Wentworth is playing puzzles. Hey, buddy, are you playing puzzles? What's up? Can I eat it in my bedroom, in my playroom, since because I promise I won't make any crumbs. You don't think you're going to make any crumbs with that popping corn? Yep. I not don't... Po it's not popping corn, it's popcorn. <laughs> Can someone tell me why sometimes I don't get a Kohl's ad in my paper? I love Kohl's. I want to be a consumer. I want to buy stuff from Kohl's, but I don't have an ad, so I don't know what to buy. I don't know what's on sale. <laughs> At least I have Target. Right, buddy? At least we have Target. Yeah. What are you playing with? What are you playing with? You rattle rattle? Oh, you've got a tight grip on that. Got your muscle tee on, showing your guns. It's intimidating. It's intimidating. <laughs> so 
So like I said this morning, I'm being a consumer. I'm at Kohl's right now. Couple of things. I wanted to get your guys' opinion on Fitbits. Do you guys have one? Which one do you have? Do you love it? Um, I right now have, just have a TomTom Tom sports watch. It's a GPS watch. It just tracks my running. Um, it will track it on the treadmill and obviously if I'm running outside, it tracks my GPS. It also has a heart rate monitor in it, but the heart rate monitor only works like if I have the watch tracking my running. Do you know what I mean? Like a Fitbit will track your heart rate and steps, but this one will only track my running if I like turn it on, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm looking into getting the Fitbit Blaze. Um, I believe that's the only Fitbit that has a GPS. And then I've also been looking, I guess the comparable thing to a Fitbit Blaze is an Apple Watch 2. Anyway, my mom works at Kohl's and she gets a discount here. So um, life hack, if you want a Fitbit, Bed Bath & Beyond, you can use their 20% coupon on it. But this one, um, obviously I can use my mom's discount on the Fitbit, so I'm excited to use that. But she told me to come to the store and make sure that it fits me. So that's what I'm here doing right now. I'm still kind of doing my research on which Fitbit I want to buy. I'm going after either the, I think the Blaze or the Surge. I think the Blaze has the GPS. Anyway. Let me know if you guys have one, if you like it, etc. And hopefully while I'm here, I am also going to search the clearance section or sales section to see if they have any clothing items that I might like. It's been a couple of months where I've been like struggling trying to buy clothes. I'm kind of going through like an identity crisis, which clothes don't really say who you are anyway, but I just feel like postpartum, I don't really have clothes that fit me, that I can nurse in easily, especially when I'm baby wearing. Like, if I have a top that I can pull up, that's fine, but if I'm baby wearing and out, I need one that I can like pull down. Anyway, short story long, right? Um, but hopefully they have something here that I like. I just, I've been searching online, like shopping online, where I like go to different websites, I fill up the cart, and then I'm like, nah, I don't really love all this stuff. Do you guys do that? I don't. I do that all the time. I like fill up my cart and then I'm like, nah, never mind. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll find something here. I don't know. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Side note, he is the only baby I've ever had that's been able to fall asleep in a car ride. And let me tell you, that is a nice thing. I definitely appreciate it. guys so I just spent 40 minutes inside of Kohl's and came out empty-handed this used to never happen to me I used to always buy stuff when I went in the stores but like I wanted to buy a whole bunch of workout stuff oh my gosh some of the stuff they had was so cute I found a couple of tops but none of them were the size that I needed and then this one top in particular was like not on sale I feel like everything's always on sale at Kohl's go figure the one thing that I wanted like wasn't and I did not want to buy it full price oh bum town USA anyway now now we're gonna go to the park we're gonna go meet um, Alex and the kids are at the park Oh, P.S. The whole reason I went to Kohl's, they don't even sell the Fitbit Surge and Blaze in the store. And I found out both of them have GPSs, but I think the Surge is the one that I want. The Blaze has like holes like on the watch. I, 
it looks weird I don't know I think I'm gonna go for the surge even though I know it's like the most expensive one but it's something that I'm gonna use every day right can I justify that I think I can yeah Eleanor, show me your trick. Call it a training ball. <laughs> so I told you guys I'd give you an update on this hummus. One I don't like avocado, but Alex does. So how is it? It's all right. <laughs> Just all right. I wouldn't suggest buying it again. <laughs> Tell us about Dad Bod. What do you mean? Oh my gosh, yeah right. Why you gotta bring up dad bod? Alex always talks about how he has dad bod. Did you know that this was a thing? Because I had no idea. Dad, and he's always like, I've got the dad bod. I'm like, what? what? I'm fishing for compliments. I've got mom bod. Oh, this can shoot air. So? <laughs> dad, look, this can... Dad, look, this can... There it is, dad bod. <laughs> Alex, uh, just pull my muscle. Yeah, this can shoot <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> so we found some stuff out about the hummus. It's not very good. It's six dollars, mind you. It's six dollars. I knew you were gonna say something about it. And I got it for two for six though, so I did get it on sale. But e for it, Eleanor. It went bad on the fifth. It did. <laughs> so I'm eating it, and I'm like, it, it tastes all right, but after a while, it tasted really bad. I didn't want to open it because it says it goes bad seven days after opening. So I was like, okay, I'll save it until look at it. Look how you're it's ready like for it to and open. Gooey. Well, it's because it's like all natural ingredients. Oh. I guess it's time to do some laundry. Yay, laundry. I just have to put it away, really, because all that's clean. I did it all. And then I have diapers. I've got some diapers in there right now. And I guess Alex decided that's not enough, so he's going to put in another load for me. Uh, Lena found what she loves to do. Color. Okay, yeah. and then we're going to draw a U shape underneath, and it's not going to touch the ends. See how there's a little gap on each side? Okay. <laughs> that looks so good. good. Look at you girls go. Look at that. I love it. Good job, girls. Teamwork. Oh, thanks so much, Dad. You're so encouraging. Dad, yeah, keep you. it up. Keep it up. Look at your reflection in the mirror and tell yourself you're proud of yourself. That's you're doing it. Doing a great job. Doing a great job. This all stemmed because I told Kim that we couldn't uh, blame the kids for these fingerprints at the very top. <laughs> but that's so. what I want. Now can I do one of those plays? There's mom finally, finally doing something around the house. Seriously, finally. I had to get her off Xbox. She was playing Xbox all morning. You are a redid. People oh. are gonna believe you and be like. She now cleans the house because she's on next spot. I don't know who talks like that. She's always doing her uh, cafe, cafe kitchen. <laughs> cafe. So you never you never empty the vacuum. Why is that? Uh, I never empty it. Am I the only one that empties Sometimes it? Sometimes I it? empty it. Look at that. Oh, thing. Hold when? On. Two years ago. I don't empty it because you always empty it. That's right. But most of that is my hair, postpartum hair loss. That is, That's no joke. I thought it would be my hair just from balding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bing 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 No, didn't work out. And now it is time for me to go watch Grey's Anatomy. Do any of you watch Grey's Anatomy? Last week was crazy, right? Well, well, when you're watching this, might be two weeks ago, might be more. But when they were on the plane again, I was.